<laughs> okay, hi guys. I'm here with uh, Sergeant Dave Matthews, and he is an Afghanistan vet and national. He was National Guards. Seventeen and a half years. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I, my last stint with them was a glorified crossing guard. Yeah, that's an MP, by the way. <laughs> And yes, he has a sense of humor, which is perfect for PTSD patrol. Right. All right, we have, um, th 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 we're going to be kind of like uh, multitasking right now because Dave also has a radio show. Tell him about your radio show. Yes. Remember the Fallen radio show at klrnradio.com on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern time. And I'm also on iHeartRadio. So on iHeartRadio, go to podcast. Then when you hit the search, put in Remember the Fall and you'll see all of my shows archived on iHeartRadio and klrnradio.com. And where are those shows on? Thursday nights, <laughs> Eastern Time. <laughs> but we're going to be multitasking because Saturday starts Suicide Awareness Month. Now I'm going to tell you something, all the Suicide Awareness has produced absolutely positively nothing. It, it's kind of like putting water in your gas tank. You've got this magnificent car. And that car, aha, phone was on. <laughs> that car needs fuel. Great fuel. Technical difficulties. Great fuel and a great car go great, right? Okay, fine. Problem is you put water in that gas tank, where are you going to go? You're not going anywhere. Well, suicide awareness gets you nowhere. Veterans already know they're committing suicide. They know this. They're losing their friends. I mean, to some people, that famous number, 22, well, that is just a number. To these guys, it's someone they know. It's someone they serve with. It's someone they were ready to, to die for, to risk their lives for. It's, it's personal to them, okay? So let's get that number out of the way because I've been posting like crazy on it and, and we know that number is not even close to reality but the problem is is that when you lose hope you need hope back telling someone oh we think there's 22 veterans that kill themselves today well how does that give anybody any hope right, right? yeah it has to be uh, really at the community level you know, when, when the when the veteran's looking for a job, you know, to get him the job, that's the starting point that the veteran needs. So if you know anybody that has uh, a large company that will help veterans get their position, move them to the front of the line, you know, I highly recommend because a veteran is has integrity. They're going to show up on time, punctuality, Teamwork. all of that. They have that instilled in them since boot camp. So you got somebody that's already trained highly that these skills and these attributes that you need to complete your mission at work. So they already have their mission. They've mission accomplished their mission. Now they want to continue their mission and work in the, you know, basically in the community and get out there and uh, just give them, give them a chance. Right. Peer support. Peer support is fabulous. Uh, not not just in the, in the veterans community, but in the civilian community. You know, find peer support. Now, I mean, it, it, it's great that civilians care about about our veterans. It, it, it's wonderful. Problem is, if you fall for the 22 a day, you're not helping them. Find organizations that have been dedicated to doing this for years. I've been in this 36 years, and I've seen some fabulous groups. Groups that are dedicated to all generations of veterans because they're veterans. You know, so do, do, do some homework, do, do some research. And you can start in your neighborhood, okay? Oh, yeah. I call it the, uh, the clover leaf. And you do it during hurricane season or after storm. You check your neighbors. You check across the street, you check to the left of you, and you check to the right of you. You know a veteran that's in your community, and you can see there's a challenge. He's being sort of uh, withdrew, withdraws from society a little bit, um, reach out to him, just talk to him. Say, hey man, thank you for your service, but I want to do more than just shake your hand. Can I help you out with anything? If you need any assistance with anything. Yeah. Go the extra mile, you know? And for the families, you can do a fuel injection into the families. 
If you are a member of a military family, veteran family too, okay? Try to start a support group because we always talk about the veteran being isolated. We don't talk about the family being isolated too because they don't want to talk to their friends. They don't know what's going on. They can't find support. They're, they're you know, the husbands are pushing them away at the same time that they know that they have to do something. It's really rough on the family. So invest some time, learn what PTSD is, and you know, if, if you're a family member, please start a support group. There will be people showing up. If you've already lost someone to suicide, please don't be out there with, with, with the, the 22 a day and talking about how you're gonna change stuff because quite frankly, you probably haven't learned enough to do that, but you are extremely qualified to change lives by starting a support group. Families desperately need you. Okay, and just, you know, go out there, be in the community, and let them know they are not alone. The families need to know they're not alone. The veterans need to know they're not alone. You know, so think about that, too. There's so many things that we can do to change the outcome. But we have to be offering hope. We have to be offering support. We have to be offering solutions. And we have to, above all, be offering encouragement that they can, yes, take back their lives. And that's what the show is about, basically paving the way back to veterans take their lives back. Yeah. Yeah. And snow plow through it. Rivers in the way, debris, snow plow through it. Get on the roads, keep driving on, and move on. You were trained that way to drive on. I know your failings would told to, you know, stifle them, but you got to talk about it. You can't keep it inside. Uh, the best, best solution is to speak to, uh, you know, your girlfriend, your closest family member, and just get it off your chest, you know. Let, let, let people know around you that you're feeling, maybe you are feeling uh, the hopelessness, okay? There's people that are out there that want to help you, and they appreciate all you've done for our country. I mean, you, you, your family and your buddies, I mean, you might be reluctant to tell them what's going on with you. They don't need to know the whole story. They do need to know you're hurting, you need some help, you need someone to talk to. Um, you're having a rough day, whatever. Communicate. They love you. They want to try to help you. And as far as this, this snowplow thing, uh, my husband, we used to live in New England, and my husband plowed the roads. And one day at work, I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking about a logo, and it was snowing back in New England, and here I am in Florida. You know, it was about like, uh, I don't know, about 70 degrees. And I went in the office, and I told one of my friends, I said, I figured out the logo, I want, I want a snowplow. She said, what? I said, no one goes anywhere until the snow plows have gone out and cleared the way. Well, that's exactly what we're doing in PTSD Patrol. We're clearing the way. Right. Yeah, Take we're getting out there. Lives. Yeah, just like if you get a flat tire you, or your mechanic, something in your engine breaks down, you got to call somebody, right? And that's basically what you do. You got to call somebody. You got to reach out to somebody. That's you. Your, your internal tank is your body, okay? So if you're hurting inside, it's telling you something, you're feeling gloomy, you know, your hopelessness, you're withdrawing from friends, you're not calling people, maybe it's Facebook, I don't know, maybe you're not reaching out. So that's a sign that you need help. So pick up the phone, you can call this number as well, okay, and that's 833-VET-HEAL. That's the AMVET, has got a great program going on right now, okay. So once again, 833-VET-HEAL. For any assistance with that and of course you got other numbers right I mean you got your other number is 800-273-8255 and press 1 and you're gonna get a trained responder to pick up that phone yeah, that's the veterans crisis line yeah so you're gonna get somebody who's already clinically you know knows what you're failing knows to give you the right suggestions you know knows to do a follow-up and um, just change, just change your attitude around where, you know, we need you. We need you in the society. We need you in our community. You know, you stood tall in the military. You can stand tall in your community again. And you can also reach out, reach out to PTSD Patrol, but you can also reach out to Point Man International Ministries. Point Man started in 1984. And matter of fact, this is one of the things we put out a long time ago. And you can go to Remember the Fallen. <laughs> my logo okay go remember the fallen 
Facebook page, all one word, Remember the Fallen. Leave a little note, stay in touch that way. And of course, we advocate on the radio show, Remember the Fallen radio show with Sergeant Dave every Thursday night. We've got, we've got a couple already under our yeah. belt. Yeah. We're gonna do another one here shortly. We just did one recently um, for, we do stuff not just for veterans, we just did one for our police officer, local Orlando officer right here. His name is Kevin Valencia. So we just had a function for Kevin Valencia right here in blue called Bleeding Blue Foundation. Another great cause. So Bleeding Blue Foundation, you can see that. So we don't do it just for veterans. My organization, we do it for really first responders as well. Yeah, so the, the, the thing is, is, is just remember, there's always help out there. You know, but if you've got the wrong idea about what PTSD is, then I want you to stop and think about something. When you were in service, did you ask for help? If you are not, did you ask for help? Did you have any problem asking for help at all? No, you didn't, because you know your buddies would be there to do whatever they needed to do for you, just like you'd be there to do whatever they needed. It's the same thing afterwards. Why don't you ask for help? You didn't fight that battle alone. Don't fight this battle alone either. It's time to take back your lives. See you next week.